Hello friends, welcome again. <clears throat> and this is my new project e-commerce portal. <clears throat> and uh, I have developed this project in Java, uh, Angular, Java Spring Boot, Angular and MySQL. For Spring Boot version, I'm using Spring Boot version 2.1.6 release. Angular version, I'm using Angular version 13 and MySQL version, I'm using 5.6. Also for ID, I'm using STS Spring Boot tool suits for microservice development on Spring Boot and uh, Visual Studio Code for the Angular and uh, PHP MyAdmin XAM server for the MySQL, right? So for port, I'm running uh, API on the port 8080 and uh, front end on the port 4200, right? So these all technology stacks I have used for developing this project e-commerce portal. So let's start with the functionality go through what we have developed and what are the features available inside this project so the project title is e-commerce portal and it's a mini project developed in java spring boot and angular right mini project because it has only and only customer operations there are no admin operations available inside it right so this is a home page and all of the products are coming from the database so you can see there are eight products coming right all are coming from the database this is about page and this is a static page there is nothing dynamic on it there is this is the all products right these all products are coming from the database right if you click on the buy now then you will get this page right if you click on the add to cart then it will ask your user id and password without adding without login you can't buy any item right these are customer login from here customer can login and customer can perform or customer can buy products right this is a registration if you don't have user id and password then you can register from here and after that you can log in with user id password and then you can perform operations this is a contact us and it's a static contact us page right we are not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere there is no admin panel so there is uh, even we are not sending a type of email and sms from this page this is totally static it's only a form let's start with the login form right so user id is amit that at gmail.com and password is test right so this is the home page right here <coughs> you will be use home page means user dashboard right you can see all of the action item which user can perform right so home page i already explained your dashboard about those all categories all products my card right so here you can see there is nothing into the card because i have not added it any item into the cart right second one is a my orders from here you will be able to see all of the orders which we have placed earlier right you can see the details of any order clicking on this arrow icon right you can see the details here right this is a my account section from here you can see all of your account section even you can update it right the logout so once you click on the logout the above session will be expired and none of the customer administration section will be displayed right so once you click on the logout you can see nothing is displaying if you log in then the menus are displaying right now i am going to buy some of the items right so buy now add item into the cart so i have added one item into the cart now continue shopping buy now add a cart so i have added two items all products this one add item into the cart so there i have added three items if i want to delete this one just click the delete and that item will be deleted from the cards right so once you click on the checkout then this is a dummy payment gateway right no need of entering any credit card details it's only a dummy right you can enter whatever you need name on the card you can add whatever you need you can add dummy data here right and once you click on the make payment you can see your order details so your order id is 301 and these are the details of your order right okay so this is the details <coughs> right even you it so your my cart will be empty again because you have already made the payment for all of your cart item so this is a my my order section you can see this is your order id 301 so you can see the details right so these all functionalities I have developed inside this project e-commerce portal. As I told you earlier, this is a mini project. There is no admin panel in it, right? But if you need project with admin panel, then we have the project with admin panel also. You can watch that video, right? So 
this is a mini project developed in javascript bootangular and mysql so if you need any extra enhancement any extra feature inside this project just put it into the comments i will incorporate those changes i will make this project more better and better according to the requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much